Hey guys, it's Stephanie and today I'm here with a new do-it-yourself project. Uh, many of you guys follow my blog Orange Milk Peel and I posted a picture of a head chain that I made uh, just because I was bored one night and a lot of you guys asked me how I made it, wondering if I was going to do a DIY and I got so many requests I decided to go ahead and do it. It's super simple uh, so let's get started. So first what you're going to need is a pair of needle nose pliers jump rings, and chain. You can get whatever color of chain you want, whatever thickness. I opted for gold, so I also went with gold jump rings. And then as a little added extra, I decided to put a charm on mine. You don't have to do this. I just had these Hamsa hand charms laying around, so I'm going to add one to mine. So the first step is measuring the centerpiece of your headpiece. And to do that, you want to put the front of your chain onto the middle of your forehead and then just measure it so you hold it where it meets the crown of your head so like right there and then take your needle nose pliers and snip it next step is measuring the second chain and to do that I just take the front of my chain and put it where the middle is and then just kind of let it fall where it wants to fall and measure it. Add a little bit extra room just in case. You can always take some off but you can never add some on. So now take the second piece that you made and cut another piece exactly the same length. So I've laid out the design of my headpiece and so I have an outer, the center, and the second outer one just so that I keep everything organized when I decide to put it on the jump ring. Now the first step is taking one of the outer gold strands and putting it on the jump ring. Then you want to do the center. And then lastly, the second outer piece. Go ahead and close your jump ring securely. Next step is to relay it out and make sure your center piece, the shortest piece, is in the center so that when you attach the jump ring, it sits properly. Now you want to do the exact same thing to this side. Next step is to try on your headpiece for size just to make sure it hangs as low or as high as you'd like. So it's going to look kind of funny because I don't have my hair parted down the middle but you'll get the idea. So center will go in the middle of your forehead. And I think that these hang at just the right length. So we're going to move on to the next step. So this next step is optional, but I did it in my first headpiece, and it's adding a second chain a little bit higher up than the first one. And what I like to do is just place more of my gold chain down and kind of eyeball how much higher up I want it than my first chain. So that looks like it'll be good. And then just snip off the excess. Now you want to make a second piece the exact same length as the first piece that we just made. Just take the gold chain, line them up, and snip. So after some trial and error, I figured out the perfect way to attach the second strand of chain to the main headpiece, and that's by adding whole new jump rings. Don't go back and open up your main jump ring or it will get a huge mess. So just take a new jump ring and place it between the first chain and the second chain on your main jump ring. And then add your second chain. Go ahead and do that to the other side and the other chain.
So this last step is optional. I'm just gonna add the charm to the front of my headpiece. And to do so, I'm just gonna take a jump ring, put it through the charm, and then attach that to the headpiece. All right guys, so this is the finished product. I think it's very elegant, super simple to make. Go ahead, pick up some chains, some jump rings, get together with some of your girlfriends and spend a night making these. You can customize them any way you want. You don't have to put a charm here if you don't want to. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time.